This is how I was looking first thing this morning when I weighed myself, which came in at 82.45 kg, as you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, along with a bunch of other stats that are probably inaccurate. But regardless, definitely making some good progress on this cup. First up, I've got some scrambled eggs with avocado. Then I've got some chicken breast with veggies and a sweet potato. Then on my way home from work, I treated myself to a grenade protein bar. Then I've got a beef steak with some veggies and potatoes. Then to finish up my eating for the day, I've got some Greek yogurt with creatine, protein powder and fruit. So as you can tell by the lack of footage of me training, I did decide to go ahead and take a rest day today simply because my hamstrings are still feeling a bit tender. And if you missed the last three or four videos, I've mentioned it several times because basically I had three early shifts in a row and in order to get to them on time, I have to run to work. And yeah, I do look like a madman if for anyone wondering, but regardless, it keeps me fit and I think long term it's going to be good for me. However, in the short term, running is quite fatiguing. And since I've been doing it for a little while, it's definitely taking a toll on my joints and also my hamstrings, which are obviously heavily involved in running and also trained my legs on one of those days. So after that, for the weekend, my hamstrings were cooked. I could barely walk and it was a struggle just to get to the gym. I mean, I think I mentioned on my back and bicep day that it was a real struggle for me to even convince myself to go to the gym because they were just still that sore. Hence why I didn't do any cardio in those sessions either. And ultimately at the end of my shift, I decided <clears throat> that the best decision to make today was to give them another day to recover because they are feeling better than they felt yesterday, that's for sure. And I feel like one more day of rest will be enough. I do have an early shift tomorrow, so gonna have to run in for that, which is part of the reason I didn't want to train legs today since, yeah, I didn't want to be sore for that run in the morning. I feel like it's better to get that run in in the morning, train my legs after, and then I'll have time to recover as I'm working a late shift the following day. And then I have two days off. So that is kind of my thinking behind taking the rest day. So I hope you understand. Maybe I'm just being a pussy. Maybe I'm being sensible. That's up for you to decide. But my decision was made. And that's what we're going with. Anyway, I'll put my calories and macros of the day on screen for you. Right around the 2,600 mark. So getting into a bit of a rhythm here with my food again. Which is nice. Although... One, I don't want to say major problem, but a minor problem is that my scale batteries have run out. So I need to get those replaced ASAP because for the next couple of days now, I'm going to have to eyeball my food, which I'm pretty good at. I'm pretty good at estimating how much things weigh and how much I'm putting into my body. So it's not going to be the end of the world. And worst comes to worst, I end up eating a little bit more or a little bit less, but it's ultimately probably not going to be detrimental to this cut. But it's just one of those things that's a little bit frustrating because I do like to be accurate, especially when I'm cutting down. I think it's quite important to be tracking every single calorie accurately. But as I say, it's not the end of the world. So tomorrow, I'm going to be training legs. So hopefully, I will see you there for it. Cheers.